And by the way, speaking of, do you know about the Punk Rock Museum? No. I'm going to hype it up right now. It's a museum in Vegas. Uh, it's got some investors in it, uh, like uh, Fletcher, uh, Fat Mike's the one behind it. Wait, is it open? It's opening in, I think, it's, what is this, March or something? Will you pull that up? Punk Rock Museum, Las the, Vegas? The, the punkrockmuseum.com. Dude, check this out. This is how cool this is. They're going to have all everything punk rock in there, okay? And we're talking like from the beginning. See it? Uh, March 10th, 2023. So there you wait, go. Is that today? Yeah, today. Oh, it opens it today. today. Shut Shit, the it opened today. fuck up. Today is a 10. Well, it opened today. Wow, what a trip. <laughs> well, they're going to have they're gonna have a big bash for everyone to come down because yeah. they're going down there. When I linked up with Mike, okay, here's the story between me and Fat Mike. We've been friends. First time I met him was 1980 or 1997, uh-huh. Warp Tour, Velodrome. And he was telling me, a crowd of people stopped the music, and he was singing the song, Don't Ride, Don't Call Me Wipe. He's saying, Don't yeah. Ride That Bike. <laughs> no and way. And I flip him off, and he stopped the stuff, and he goes, Are we still a cool biker? And I didn't know him, and I was like, Yeah, we're cool. He's like, Don't Ride That Bike. Don't ride that bike. So all the years we were on Warp Tour, we knew each other. And we were friends. There's no beef, but we weren't really like close. Yeah. So then I knew that he moved in down to the valley. He lived there for a while. And uh I knew that I heard that he wanted to start doing comedy. So I and I interviewed those guys for, for Fox. Okay. I have uh five, four, three, two ones to show I used to do. Mm-hmm. So I interviewed them at the Henry Fonda Theater for like a mainstream TV sh- channel that they normally wouldn't do. So we were friends. Don't get me wrong, we were cool, but not like the, we're friends now. And so he wanted to do a comedy. And so I went over to his house and we were going through a set and he's really into comedy. He's really funny. And he's, he's, you know, he's fat Mike. He's got this dark sense of humor. And then he started telling me about how he's got the, uh, the punk rock museums opening. And I had no idea. I was like, what is this? And what's cool about it is they have so much stuff from like, I have not seen uh, obviously all the stuff. I haven't been there, yeah. but from what I've been told and the little bit that I've seen and heard, they have like so much like, Dude, so much stuff, like from the early bands to, to the to the recent bands. And what they're going to do is they're going to have tour guides. So like if you want to pay to go to the museum, your tour guide might be Fletcher from Pennywise. No. It might be. Didn't you just have Smelly in here? We did. Well, we actually went down to Long Beach, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he might be your tour guide. Actually, I think he's doing some dates. Look on the website. Shut look, the f- look on the website. Hey, will you pull that up on the screen? Smelly's doing some. And then and then you got, then you, it could be like, so Fat Mike's like, look. I want you to be a tour guide. Shut up. So I'm doing four days, which I promote this right now, May 22nd to the 25th, right before Punk Rock Bowling. Fuck. Hold on. We're going to get to Punk Rock Bowling, but I want to check this out. Yeah. All right. So never mind the Bullocks. Here's... No, I just want to read that real quick. Never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Punk Rock Museum. It's been 45 years since Punk Rock uh, pogoed its way into music, fashion, film, and popular culture. March 10th, 2023, which is today. Wow. Uh, the Punk Rock Museum in Las Vegas opens its doors and proudly shoves in your face the history, culture, and absurdity of rock and roll's bastard stepchild. The museum invites lifelong fans and curious looky loos of all ages to experience a hands-on, unique punk rock experience. Now, obviously, when you guys are listening to this, it will be a couple weeks past March 10th. Uh, and so where is it? How can you find... Um, the Punk Rock Museum, dude. No, 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 no. It says like, where can you right find like now, a like it's opening today? I'm doing a podcast about it, right? Let's go, Punk Rock Museum opening today. Yeah. All right, that's so sick, man. This podcast back to your story. Follow, follow us, dude. Let's go. Yeah. So anyhow, that's wow. it. Yeah, look up, look yeah. up. Look oh, here's here's the dude. Look at that. Those are the tour guys. Yeah, oh, like you said, yeah. Fat, Fat Mike, Mike, Smelly, Smelly. Oh my. Warren Fitzgerald. We got. I mean, there's dude, a lot. Mike Roach from TSOL. Fuck. Monkey from the Addicts. It's gonna be. Sick, Scroll down bro. a little bit more. You're gonna see Rick Thorne uh, right there. Yeah. Where? Oh my. No. Wait. What? Oh, they haven't put my dates up yet. Damn. That's, that's April. A... Mine's gonna be May, May 22nd. May. So yeah, yeah, yeah. May 22nd to the 25th. I'm gonna be a tour guide at the Punk Rock Museum. Show up, I'll be your guide. The ultimate guide. Ow! Let's go! Ah! Dude, that's incredible. Can you uh, go to like uh, another month? Go to the right. See if it. Uh, you can click right there. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, because I'm, but I'm in the process. I sent them my bio and I sent them headshots and I'm actually going to do a video. Uh, well, maybe I'll send them that one, but as me saying, hey, I'm going to be your tour guide, blah, blah, blah. And so then they're going to make a flyer, this, that, the other. So you could go there and you could be like, you know, Hey, like, you know, like I said, uh, it's not just your ordinary tour guide. It's like someone that's actually a punk rocker knows about punk rock and could tell their own, you know, as you back to your Dude. story, tell your stories of like, Oh yeah, this is a, 
Oh, that's that's a, a guitar from Fletcher. Let me tell you about Fletcher. One time I did the Warp Tour, and it's the stories that we know that that are positive and and, and interesting to the to the to the people, rather than just like, dude, oh, here's this, and then no one knows about. It. You know what I mean? Dude, like, yeah. 